Hi guys, it's Phil from TeachBlend and in this video we're going to have a look at version control in Teams and SharePoint. What this will mean is that you can access various versions of documents without having to click File, Save As and Rename in Files. It will also mean that you can check in and check out documents to prevent other people overwriting while you're working. You can also create drafts that can then later be published and you can also send documents off for approval by Teams owners. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the files option inside of a team and then choose the open in SharePoint option. This will show all of the files and folders inside of your team. Let's have a look at my example. So we're going to click the three dots and then what we're going to do is choose version history. In here then you'll see the various versions of that document and the details. So let's have a look in practice how this works. So I'm going to open up this document and what I'm going to do is make a slight change to it. What SharePoint and Teams will automatically do is create that version for you. There's no need to create your own. Here you'll see this working. So I'll click the three dots and I'll choose the version history now. What you'll see is that document has got a number, a date and the modified and you'll actually see the various versions automatically created for you. You can click on these to view the various versions which is great to see the progress of that document so that you can see what changes have been made and you can also revert these, these documents or save these if you needed to. But this is all automatically done for you. You'll see who's modified it as well. You can click the three dots to view, restore and delete. And what you can do here is you can actually restore the document to make that the newest version. You can also do a slim down version inside of the app within Teams as well, so for example Word. So what I'll do is I'll edit this document. As, as I'm editing this document, if you click the file name, you can actually choose version history. And this will just give you a quick preview. You can see the changes to that document and the history. You can also check in and check out documents. So choose settings and go to library settings, document settings. From here, you're going to choose the version settings and then in here what you can actually do is you can edit this and you can choose for example require content approval. There is other options that are well described and we'll go through these later in the video. But let's have a look at require checking in and checking out. So when you click on the require checking in checking out what it does is it allows just one user to open up that document, make the edits and nobody else. So this helps when you're doing version controls if, for example, it was an important document and you didn't want people overwriting. You'll see here in this, I can't actually edit that document because I've not checked it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the document, choose the three dots, and then choose check out. This will mean that only me can edit it. Everyone else will just get the view option. So here you can see what I can actually do now is edit that document. When I'm finished, I can click the three dots again, choose check in, and I can also type a comment to my colleagues to tell them what changes I have made to that document so it can go to the next person. So let's have a look at how this works. So I choose the three dots, choose version history. You can see I've made my changes, added a comment, checked it back in, and then the next person in the chain could actually then edit their document. You can also do this with drafts as well and require content approval. And these work kind of together, so you can have a draft as well as content approval. So we'll just enable these and I'll show you how this works. So once enabled, I'm going to click the OK button. And then what you'll see now is you'll see an approval status. And you'll see this here, it'll say approved. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually check out this document and show you drafts first. So I've checked out that document. You'll see the approval status changed to draft. And what I can do then is make any changes to this document. But in version history, what it will do is it will actually use drafts as well. So I've made a change and I'm going to click the close button. I'm not going to check in this document. I'm just going to leave it as that. And as a member, not an owner of the team, a member, when I view that document, you will not see the changes. And that's because I've not published it. So only members in the team will see only the published ones. Owners will see the drafts as well inside of the team setting.
So what I can do if I wanted everybody to see that is I can click on these three, uh, click on the document, choose the three dots, and then I can check this in. And when I check it in, I have some options. I can choose, for example, to keep it as a draft so only owners of the team can see it, or I can publish this so everyone can see it. I can also add some comments in as well. I'm going to leave it as draft because what I want to do is actually show you approval as well. So drafts, if you are a member, you can actually submit a draft for approval or if you're wanting to send this to somebody else to publish and then that person then can click the three dots and choose approve or reject. From here then, if the draft wasn't good enough, you can choose to pend or reject it. But in this case, it's absolutely fine. So I'm going to approve that write a comment about why I've approved it and click OK. This will then publish this for all members of that team. So let's have a look now at the member view now. So as a member of that team, I've got that approved, the drafts approved, and you'll see now that everybody can see that document. So this is a real useful way of managing files. To see how and who can manage the access and approvals, choose manage access on the document, choose advanced, and from here, you can set up groups and users on who can do various things. So say here on members, I'm going to edit the user permissions. And you'll see in this example, they cannot approve. It is only the members of the teams. But you can set up these permissions. I hope you found this video useful.